Hello fellow crafters, what's going on? Clickwell here, we are coming to you from our nether hub, hanging out here next to our mineshaft because today is the day we're finally going to get our hands dirty and go and find ourselves some netherite. Let's go! Okay, before anything else, I want to show you guys some of the prep work that I've done for the big dig here. Um, I am a fan of mining with TNT in the nether for netherite. I know a lot of you probably, guys have probably seen that before. TNT is a great way to mine because the thing we're looking for, netherite or ancient debris, is actually extremely blast resistant. You could actually set off a TNT right next to a piece of ancient debris and that would uh, that would not even blow it up. It wouldn't even knock it off the wall. So we're going to be using that to blow through the nether netherrack, which is extremely soft. And then hopefully that'll be exposing all of the netherite that'll just be uh, scattered about as we go through our new tunnel here. I'm going to go and get myself a whole bunch of fire resistance potions from our piglins over there and we're gonna get started okay now that we have everything we need I'm gonna head down to the depths here we are on level 15 at the moment um, that's kind of the average uh, Y level for where you can find ancient debris if you go on 15 and you go mining around you'll probably find the most um, however we are going to be using TNT and I feel like if you go down to level let's say 13 that makes it a little bit easier because you're going to be blowing out the roof a little less often and less lava is gonna be pouring in from the uh, from the lava lake right above our heads so let's go to level 13 we're gonna dig ourselves a nice long tunnel uh, and and once I get to the end, I'll come back and I'll show you guys how we set up the TNT. You've got to be kidding me. Right off the bat. There we go. We didn't even need to write out. We didn't even need to set some TNT off, guys. As we are digging our tunnel here, we found our first piece of ancient debris. Let's go ahead and make some space in our inventory. You know, that was a little bit easy finding this first piece, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. Let's go ahead and mine that. We'll pick that up. We're not going to get an achievement on that because we already got some ancient debris when we were going through that bastion before, but that's fine. Let's continue on and see if we can find a whole lot more. And there's number two. All right. That didn't take very long at all. We're still working towards the end of our tunnel, so I'm pretty impressed with this mine shaft so far. Let's grab our second piece here. And we get a double. Any more? No. All right, three pieces. Let's go. A good tip to make sure that you're not taking home things that you don't really want is to knock out a couple of, uh, let's say, uh, let's say you want to bring home some quartz. I'll, uh, I'll knock out a bunch of blocks of quartz and I'll pick those up here in my inventory like so. Then what I'll do is I'll spread them out a little bit. So let's say I'll remove the, uh, the black stone, which I have tons of from the, uh, from the piglins that I'm trading with. Maybe even one more here because I have a stack, uh, in my offhand, which reminds me of my second point, which is to always keep a stack of blocks in your offhand just like this. That way when you're mining along and you hit a patch of lava, all you got to do is right click and, uh, you don't have to switch blocks or anything thing and then it's easy peasy super safe I think I might actually let this be yeah this is like a bit of a pool here so this might be the end of uh, our tunnel look we've made a quite a long tunnel here so what I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of blocks here to kind of block this off a little bit okay I've built up a little bit of a barrier here so all that lava back there shouldn't get explodificated with this TNT right there so there we go there's our first piece I'm basically just gonna place this down two to three blocks away from each other. That's going to allow this next piece of TNT to be ignited by this one right here. So if we start the chain all the way at the end, it should just blow this huge cavern, this huge hole, all the way through the nether rack, exposing all of the uh, all of the ores that we want, most notably the uh, ancient debris. That's basically the only thing we're after today. So I'm going to lay down a nice long line of TNT here. When we get to the end, we'll light it up and watch the show. Okay, and that should just about do it. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe brig these so we have a little bit of an entryway to this uh, to this tunnel. And I'm going to get my flint and steel. I always recommend using a, uh, a a bow with flame on it to do this. That way you could ignite these from far away. But uh, I don't actually have one on me, so screw it. We can use the flint and steel just as easily. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so they are igniting, that's looking fantastic, and we have already broken the chain, which is terrible. We did not place them close enough to each other, but let's have a quick look around here. First things first, no lava leaking in, which is amazing. That means that we went down low enough that we're not interfering too much with the lava. Also, we're just breaking down to the top level of bedrock, which is another great thing. So I think, you know what, there we go, level th level uh, 13. Definitely, I think it's the best way to, uh, to, to mine with TNT, uh, but you know what, we'll see as we go here how much lava we get from the ceiling. We'll definitely get some, but so far, that was a good start.
sometimes they can be kind of hidden in the corners and stuff, so always make sure to check all the way around. Okay, not a good start. I think we've already had all of our luck in it when we were doing that, uh, when we were making the tunnel out here, but let's do another explosion. Wow. <laughs> Nothing yet. Wow. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit surprised. I'll be honest with you guys. After uh, after that many TNT, I was expecting to see at least one, but let's keep going. It's just going to be one of those days. Okay, we've exposed our first lava from the roof. So here we go. And I also see some more ancient debris. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Now we're in business. Let's get rid of some of this uh, lava here and then we'll start mining our sweet sweet treasure. Always make sure to check around. You never know. We got lucky there. That one was hidden. Another thing to remember when you're mining for ancient debris is to always bring a gold piece of armor with you. Uh, there's going to be piglins uh, spawning all throughout these dark spaces back there. And that's going to make sure they don't turn around and get a, get a face full of uh, gold sword when you're not expecting it. Right here's a good reason to always get rid of all the lava you see. I just got rid of this little lava here and this, this guy was hiding right behind it. Okay, now that we're at the end of our tunnel here, I know there's a lava lake right on the end of that, so I don't want to go any further. Let's make a right. Usually I end up going right first. I'm on level 12 now, so let's move up one more to level 13. We're going to make a nice long tunnel again, and we're going to do the same thing all over. Look at that. I'm having more luck in the mines than I am exploding. All right, this looks like a pretty serious lava lake. So again, I think I'd like to stop right here. This is a much, much shorter tunnel. But again, uh, once we uh, once we blow up all the way to this point, we'll just uh, start turning again, make another right, and uh, and we'll avoid that lava. So let me grab some more TNT, and let's get this done. The great thing about fire resistance is if you get to a giant lava lake like this, all you got to do is swim right up the top. It doesn't feel great right off the start. It feels a little weird, but you know what? Come right up the top like this, and you can kind of just uh, see where the blocks are that's causing this, uh, this lava lake to pour in and just kind of fill those blocks in. This is much faster than trying to do this from outside of the lava, you know? You know what? Some people might be a little bit nervous to check and see if netherite is actually fire resistant, actually lava proof. Let's throw a little bit in there. Look at that. Floats right to the top. Very, very cool. Okay, that looks like that's the end of our tunnel again. So we're going to make another right, I think. We only have 24 pieces. I like to get at least half a stack. So let's see what we're at right now. We're at 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's going to be the end of this tunnel. Let's uh, grab our TNT. Ooh, only five left. Okay, we'll grab our shulker box. Okay, here we go. It looks like we have blown our way back through a wall into our original tunnel, I think. Uh, this could be a different one, but I believe this is the one where we headed. We were heading out that way, and we were coming from this direction. So, you know what? Let's fly on back here and see if we can uh, manage to get uh, to our original staircase. We have a whole heap of ancient debris with me, which is great. We're going to make that into netherite ingots, and we are going to improve our armor and our tools. Oh my gosh, look at this tunnel. This is ridiculous. Um, oh! Hey, hey, look, there it is. That would not take long at all. We are right there. There's the original staircase. Perfect. And if we turn around, we can look at the destruction and mayhem that we have created uh, for a long ways, to be honest. This, this goes straight out. It curves all around. We go in circles. We come back. So we have completely decimated the, the area underneath of our lava lake. You know what? That's okay. We're not going to be doing a whole lot of hanging around underneath of the uh, lava lake. So you know what? This should be just fine. Let's head on back upstairs, and we'll throw all of our ancient debris inside of the furnace. Okay, let's look and see how we did here. 52 netherite scrap. 
That is pretty insane, guys. We did awesome today, I think. Uh, but just so we are very, very clear, ancient debris is found underground in the nether that gets put into the furnace, which makes netherite scrap, which is what we just pulled out of the furnace. Combine netherite scrap with gold, like we're going to do right here, and that makes you a netherite ingot. And netherite ingots can be combined with your armor and your tools to make netherite tools and armor. So I know it's a little bit confusing, but you put uh, four netherite scrap along the top and a bunch of gold in that shape along the bottom. That's how you make a netherite ingot. It's a little bit of a strange shape but uh, there we go we got 13 ingots guys that is awesome we did great let's head back home i have a, a smithing table at my chateau and we will uh, use that to upgrade all of our stuff Okay, we're back at the chateau, and I am ready to upgrade my armor. I put a smithing table right here in the hallway. Okay, let's see here. We got two pieces of uh, of armor that we can uh, that we can do. Uh, I'm gonna leave my uh, my elytra, my gold helmet. I need to enchant that actually, and leave this stuff on because I don't really uh, use a uh, diamond armor for that. But it will also do our tools here. So let's go. Uh, boots first. We put the uh, the the armor in the beginning, uh, the first the first slot, and we put the uh, ingot in the second. And there we go. Netherite boots. Bam, just like that. Let's do the same thing with the pants. And we're going to do everything we have. So we'll do the pants. You know what? Let's put the whole uh, whole thing there. We'll put the uh, the shovel in. I love the sound it makes, too, when it, uh, when it makes the tool. Where's that little tapping sound? <laughs> That's the one. That's great. Okay, and finally, we'll do the sword. Okay. Oh, you know what? We got a couple more here. Um, you know what? I think the one thing we definitely have to do is the uh, the diamond hoe. There's just something about enchanting a or uh, upgrading a hoe to nether, right? That just makes me feel super, super cool. There we go. We did it. And we got the serious dedication achievement as well. That's uh, that's a good one. I love that one. So we always make sure make sure to get the easy the easy advancement. There we go, guys. We got all of our armor on, all of our tools. We're looking much much stronger. We're looking much more durable, and we're looking looking much more purple. And that is gonna do it for two day that's right guys we did it we got ourselves some of that sweet sweet netherite we got ourselves some purple and we are absolutely ready for anything that comes upon us over the next foreseeable future thank you so much for watching this guys leave me a like if you made it this far if you enjoyed the video thanks for pressing that subscribe button and i will see you on twitch stay safe stay well i love you tons peace Okay, bye-bye.